All right, in this video we're checking a couple of new products here from Hollybro. We have the Kakute F7 flight controller version 1.5, and this is just a flight controller only. And then we have the, this is the F7 Kakute HDV combo. So it's got the Kakute flight controller with the Teco 32-bit ESC stack, and this is what it looks like. So um, let's take a look at the uh, individual flight controller first, and we'll look at the stack second. So this is uh, obviously just the uh, flight controller only. It does come in a combo with a 32-bit ESC, but this is just the flight controller. And for whatever reason, they sent the uh, stack version for the HDV, but um, the only the flight controller. I think, though, that the ESC that's on here on this stack is, is the same ESC that's, that comes with this stack here, if you, got, if you buy it in the stack configuration. So if you're wondering about the ESC, then I'll be showing that here in a second. But this is just this is um, for you basically your non DJI or normal builds. The HDV here is for your DJI builds, and I'll talk about that here in a second. But here's your pretty much your standard looking board here, 30 by 30. It's got an MPU 6000 gyro up on a dampening piece of foam there, right here. Uh, you got your arrow showing. That's the forward or part of the quad. That's how I should be pointing. And this is the top USB port over here. You have a Connector here goes to your 400 ESC for your motor, and also I think it has telemetry as well. And all of your uh, connection points here are labeled on or silk screen on the top part of the board, but on the bottom part of the board, uh, none of those are silk screen. So I think that you can pretty much be safe to solder everything on top. You uh, obviously whatever you solder on the top is going to be the same in the bottom, but you could solder on the bottom if you want. So not much here on the bottom. You have your barometer here. I think that's the barometer. It's a, the barometer on this particular flight controller. You have your OSD chip. You have the slot for a black box recording. If you wanted to put an SD card in there, you can record your black box data there. And then you have your very large F745 uh, chip here. And this, obviously with a large chip like this, has six hardware UARTs. So shouldn't have any issue with running out of UARTs. Uh, plenty of UARTs on this particular board. And let's zoom in here and we'll look at all the different connections. So you got your uh, ground, 5 volts, and video in over here for your camera. Okay, so over here on the left side, I just kind of flipped it over so that it's on the top. Uh, you have your ground, battery, plus uh, video out, and you have RSSI. Then you have all of your UART here, so R1, T1, R2, T2, T2. These are UART 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then you have 3.3 volts here for your spectrum guys. And then over here on the bottom, we have the, these remaining connections, motors 5 and 6, ground, SD, SDL for, uh, for compass, buzzer, and your LED connections. So, uh, yeah, overall, uh, pretty packed board. And this board has a 5 volt 2 amp uh, BEC, a voltage regulator. And over here on the B plus for battery, you can power this board directly off of a LiPo. Uh, it says up to 6S, but then also the specs is up to 42 volt, which is way more than 6S. Okay, then the only other thing that's in the box here is the connector. And they don't have the one that goes to the ESC, which is like a connector and another one. It's just bare wires here, it looks like. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, Kakute F7 HDV. Uh, this one particular one's version 1.4. The flex controller is uh, somewhat similar to uh, the standalone flight controller here. Obviously physically looks different, but it uses the same target, the Kukute F7 target. Uh, it is the same chip, F745, very large chip, uh, six hardware UARTs. This one has two voltage regulators on here, um, five volts at one and a half amps and an eight volt at two amps, and the eight volt regulator is for your DJI FPV air unit. And you can see the connector here for the air unit right here. Having these sort of custom flight controllers for uh, the DJI system are really nice because they just plug this in. It's all plug and play at that point. Plug that in. All you have to do is solder on your battery lead and your motors. And if you're using the um, DJI uh, controller transmitter, then you don't have to do anything else. Uh, if you have your own transmitter like uh, Crossfire or FreeSky or whatever, then you obviously have to solder on a receiver. But if you're not, then yeah, this, this makes uh, the DJI builds really simple. You just have to solder on motors and a battery lead. So this one does also have the MPU 6000 gyro, but it's uh, hard mounted to the board here. As you can see, it's not on a uh, dampening pad. And this also features the barometer if you want to use the barometer. 
Uh, the uh, 4 in 1 EC here, <laughs> super thick board here, as you can see. Uh, up to 40 amps, I think it's a uh, 50 amp burst, 32 bit ESCs. Has a current sensor on board, and I think that's right there. You can run this on 6S if you want. Uh, it does come with additional capacitor here. If you want to run 6S, I recommend using this one here. It's uh, 1000, yeah, 1000 microfarad, 35 volts, and then you've got your wiring loom here. It goes uh, to the DJI air unit, as you can see, and this uh, goes to the air unit, and this one goes to the flight controller. And then you have your additional connectors here. It goes from the ESC to the flight controller, two different links, which is nice. So obviously this is going to be for your air unit right here, and then this connector here is going to be for your uh, connection from the flight controller to your foreign and ESC. All right, let's take a quick look at all the connectors available to us here. So you have your SDA, SCL for compass, you have ground 5 volts, you have motors 5 and 6 output there, RSSI. I don't know what NC is exactly. Uh, if anyone knows, let me know. Uh, T2, R2, so it's the UR2, 3, 4, and 6, T6, and T7, uh, R, R, R6, and R7. I think those are ones for ESC, uh, perhaps, I think, and there's a ground over there. And over here, it's something called Z minus, I think that's for buzzer, 5 volt LED and ground. And here on the underside of the flight controller is your slot for your black box recording. So you can put your SD card in there and record your black box logs into that. And one more thing I forgot to mention about the ESCs, the, I guess the MCU or the processor is an F3 for these uh, ESCs, so your typical F0. So it is, I think, twice as fast. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to translate to much more performance, but I heard that that does help in terms of, you know, uh, better performance for your motors. So overall, I like the fact that we're getting more of these coming to market now for your DJI builds. Um, it's obviously, it's pretty much just drop in, you solder on your motors, and you plug in your air unit, and you're good to go. I just have the, obviously, at that point, it's just software setup. Uh, so you know, it's nice it comes in a stack like this. This is pretty future-proof with all the UARTs and everything here. You ought, to, you ought to, if you get this, you should be able to have it build and uh, be able to use uh, far future beta flight versions because I know they're cutting off like things like the F3 for example and beta flight 41. This is an F7 so you're pretty future proof from, in terms of that aspect. Anyway guys this is going to do it for this overview video. Um, I might be putting this into the GIP RC frame that I reviewed a little while back and do a quick little DJI build. I think I'm going to take the air unit out of uh, the uh, sample that I got from DJI, the, the drone that they pre-built and put that into the GEP RC frame. It's a pretty nice little uh, frame for a little 5 inch, um, I, I guess, a freestyle uh, build for a DJI build. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Um, interested to see how much people are interested in the DJI stuff. It seemed like there's a lot of interest at first, but then kind of dropped off uh, quite a bit you know, lately. So I haven't heard too much noise, but yeah, if you are interested in this kind of stuff, especially in the DJI stuff and more builds definitely make some more noise and more I, 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 more comments I see, the more attention I get on this, I will try, definitely try and make an effort to give you guys some more content on this kind of stuff. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.